What's up guys, Vern here, Poggy Boy Productions. So in today's video, we're heading on over to Hoboken. Uh, I'm gonna meet up with Henner and our friend Lori. And we're gonna try this food cart that's been making some headlines. I seen them in TikTok. Basically, he makes uh, Japanese street food. It's the first, I think, yakitori cart selling like skewers, meat skewers. And uh, I think he has pork belly, steak, chicken, he has some veggies, you know, it's on a stick. It's like a barbecue in Filipino terms. So, not open every day. I think he's there Saturday, Friday, Saturday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I think he's only there four days. So, trying to make the best of it. Today is Friday. So, yeah, let's see how much we could eat. So, uh, come along and keep watching. Chicken and uh, mushroom. Chicken and mushroom. Chicken and mushroom. I'm gonna post this on Insta. Chicken and mushroom. Oh, oh we, we have cartilage in ours. Chili, chili uh, powder. Hold on. Your choice. I have lizard, uh, meat drumstick, and bacon. Look at that face. It's good. <laughs> So what kind of uh, like he? I think he has his own made uh, sauce on there. Yeah, there's a chili chili or something like that. Yeah, something spicy. Little spicy. Yeah. You can't go wrong. This one's uh. Next one. I forgot what this is. That's your. I think that's cartilage. Yeah, this is the one with the tare mother sauce. Yeah. Mm. How's it soft? Tender? Yeah. Nice and tender. Meaty? Not Meaty? Nice. Sauce is good though. Yeah. Love the sauce, man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you guys gotta go here. Hit up Justin and order a lot. <laughs> gotta be here early. Go here early. I'm coming back to get more food. Because yeah. all he had right now is chicken, though. but he had other, other stuff. <laughs> it's not, it's not recording. Yeah. It's basically the same thing I had because Vern likes to copy me. <laughs> so you only had chicken, so. Yeah. Look, you can see the spicy whatever. The cheery, right? cheery or something like that. Yeah, you can see the little red, little dots there. Mm. Oh, this is the cartilage. Yeah. Yeah, I tasted, uh, you know, I chewed on the cartilage for that one. Good stuff. I like it. Next one is the, the I think it's the fillet. 
Yeah, the fillet, right? The fillet, hey, look at that. That's with the tiring mother sauce. Mm -hmm. Homemade. From the motherland. Here we go. Look at that. Chicken, big bite. Mm -hmm. Chicken. I have knee gristle, drumstick, wing, or gizzard. It's that sauce. Mix it. Right? Yeah. That sauce is really good. Uh, mm. Perfectly, perfectly seasoned. Yeah, nice and tender. Nice and tender. Marinated well. Come here, man. Get this chicken. Yep. I gotta come back and try the rest of it. Yeah, the everything, pork belly. Is, everything is cooked over uh, charcoal, too. So you, you really good. get the taste of everything. Street food. The best. Japanese food. That's the mushroom. You have a choice of mushroom, tomato, and what? Zucchini. Zucchini. Well, what? Salt? That's pretty much it. Yeah. A little seasoning to it? Yep. It's good. Give it some taste. Thank you very much. So you said, the, you said the sake was good? <laughs> is that the sake? This is the zucchini. Yeah. And they brushed it with some sake. And it's a, it's a game changer. It's so yeah. good. Yeah. The mushroom was good too. Mm -hmm. Several days later. Alright, it's been a few days. I'm here a little bit earlier. Um, he started at, I think he started grilling at 3. It's already 408. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I get to try that pork belly and the steak. Because all we had was chicken last time. So uh, let's go in there and get some. Hopefully I can get some veggies, maybe some rice. And uh, let's see. Look what I got. Let's eat it in a bit. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right guys, back in Casa Poggi, back in my house. Brought down home all the food, the meats. I didn't bring anything else with me, no soda. I ran out of rice, which is good for me because I'm trying to cut down carbs. But you know, rice is life. I would, I would have probably eaten it with some rice. Probably could get some upstairs, but I'm too lazy. I'm just gonna eat it as is. And look at that, look at that, all that protein. So I got the steak, I got the pork belly, and I got a grilled tomato today. So let's dig in. Okay, I'm gonna start with the tomatoes right there. Um, I don't know what he uh, adds to it. I think he drenches it with some kind of um, sauce and some garlic and whatnot and whatever. But here it is, take a bite. Looks like the mushroom that I had. You know, it's the same type of uh, dressing that he put on it. Mm. I could eat this by a handful. It's that good. Mm. No baby tomatoes. <laughs> um, next one, we'll try the pork belly. This is the pork belly. Look at that. I think this is glazed in an Asahi beer with some barbecue sauce and uh, you know over that hot fire coal which is uh, different so Japanese street food here it is this is pork belly mm. Meat's very tender. Extremely juicy. I think that the coal makes it give you that charred look. Mm. Can't really taste the asahi beer, but it's glazed on it. Mmm. Thumbs up for me. <laughs> Last but not least is the steak. Now you could get this however way you want it cooked. I got it medium. You get it medium rare, rare. You can even get it well done if you want. Um, here it is. You could actually see some wasabi, little green wasabi in here. I'm not sure. And I think there's also barbecue sauce on this. I have to ask uh, Chef Justin. His secret recipe but uh, if you ask him he'll tell you what's on it all right 
fried steak. Mmm. Mm. I think it's a blend of a miso soup kind of sauce and of course you got the wasabi you, don't, you barely taste the wasabi if you're afraid of the spiciness but you can see a little bit of the redness there I got this um, medium don't tell me comment down below how you like your steak anyway this is pretty good stuff mmm Mm. It's all off the stick good. <laughs> Definitely this is Justin if you want to try this Japanese co these uh yakitori's Jap Japanese skewers. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you go visit Erotori er Erotori in Hoboken, New Jersey. It's right by Newark Street and I think Hudson. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'll leave all the information down below. <laughs> address his instagram give him a follow because you won't regret it i highly recommend them kind of reminds me of the philippine street food right when you walk out in the street and you just buy from the vendors like taho and uh i think they even sell balut so this is sort of similar similar in a way that you could just you know pick up food right off the cart and uh he's only there for these like a week like i said it's um Friday, Saturday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and he's off Sunday, Monday, and Thursday. Hours are, I believe, three to six. Don't quote me on that. And uh, yeah, make sure you go early if you want the good stuff. Usually, he runs out of rice. He runs out of the pork belly and the steak pretty quickly. So, and the chicken. And uh, I highly recommend all of them. If you like barbecue, you like yakitori, definitely go visit Chef Justin over there in Hoboken. Highly recommend them. Anyway, this is your first time here. Make sure you smash that button down below, the subscribe button. Ring the bell so you get notified of all our future video videos. Like, comment, and share. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.